Good morning. I am going to take you on a day in the food truck at my market stall. So uh, let's jump on in and show you what it's like. Let's go. So this van is uh, 52 years old. So sometimes it doesn't like to start in the morning first try. So we get the key in, ignition on, give it a few pumps. I'm gonna turn, put that in there. That turns on my little GPS thing here because the speedo is a bit rubbish. I'm gonna give it some throttle pumps. Pumpy, 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 pumpy. And see what happens, let's go. First time, come on. Oh, oh. We're alive. Yes. Yo, so look, we're here, we're at the market. We're all set up, well, van, van's in place. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do next. So first things first, uh, I'm gonna turn on my fan, I'm gonna turn on my light thing, and we're gonna jump out the van, because my light is on an electronic actuator. I press this button here, if you look, my light comes up in the air. So that just comes up. It's probably gonna be some water in the pee that's gonna piss out of it right now, but there you go. And then I stop it when it's like about there. Okay, next thing to do, join the back. Gonna turn my gas on. Got a lockable gas cabinet here. And turn on one of the bottom. These are, I've got two, two in here on an auto changeover. So I'm just gonna twist that. Turn it on slowly. That's the first one. So it will start taking from this front one first. And then if it empties, it will start to take from the back. So I'll turn the back one on as well. They are two full bottles. So we lock that. And let's go inside. Mm -hmm. Right, in we go. My speaker's falling down. So first things first, light switch on. And then I generally go over to the ovens. So click this one, pilot light on. Might take a while because it's a new bottle. Oh no, there we go. We have a pilot light and we have flame. Straight over to this one. Let's have a look, come on. There we go, we got a light. Nope. There we go. Flame on. Ovens are on. Turn on the old uh, jobby flobby. Whatever you call it. And then I open up my roof vent. Make sure we've got some fresh air coming in. This one is a fan. It can, uh, it can suck or it can blow. So there you go. Ovens are on. That one's already up to 47 degrees. These things heat up super fast. Okay, next thing, I'm gonna get everything set up in here, so I'll show you that. Okay, over here I have my sink, I've uh, got my cold water here, so just, I've got, basically have like 15, 20, 20, I think it's 20 liters, something like that, of cold water, so I just put this feed tap in there, and I'm gonna go turn on my cold water pump, so let's go do that. Close up the door, so we've got fire going. Around to the front. We turn on my fresh water pump up here, bosh, like that. At the same time, we grab my coffee and I'm gonna grab my, uh, this is my card machine, my Zettel. I'll just clip it on the outside of the van just there. Background. And now, now we have fresh water. And if I turn it the other way, we get hot water. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do, open up the hatch. So, we've got a couple of locks here. Open that up. Give more fresh air in, and I have a shelf down here, which just stays clipped in. We're not in use. So this shelf just slots into this little rail just here. So I do it from the inside. So it just slots in like that. Now I have 60 centimeters of landing space, put my pizza boxes, everything like that, certain pizza. I have a different color for every like allergen or anything. So it's green for veggie, meat for red for meat. Uh, yellow, yellow one is kind of like, uh, goes there actually that's kind of random white one is my white pizza so that's my uh, pizza bianca today uh and then i've got a vegan one on the end this one is like just 
random. And I have extras of these down here in storage as well. If I drop one on the floor or if for some reason it gets super dirty. Got my hot honey, uh, that's gonna sit on top of the oven because you know the van gets cold overnight. So it's just gonna stay up there. It's gonna stay nice and warm and toasty. Same with my olive oil, which stays in a little box down here. Let me just get a few bits out from under here, my liners. That's the shelf that normally goes on the back. I'm not using it today, so it's just gonna store down here. Just slide it in there, keeps it out of the way. So. Olive oil, still liquid. Obviously didn't get too cold, but I'm gonna stick that up the top of the oven there. And it's just gonna make sure that's nice. Uh, Time to get some stuff sorted, so I'm gonna wash my hands so I can get some food going. We're gonna uh, we're gonna cook off the sausage for the special today. Uh, it's a salsiccia fiorelli one, uh, wild Italian broccoli uh, with sautéed chili and garlic and uh, fennel sausage. So I need to pre-cook it. I need to chill it and get it ready to go. Let's just finish up washing up. sort of Neapolitan pizza spoon, big old stainless bowl, my sauce, made this this morning. Bowl takes a hell of a lot, that'll do me like 50 pizzas worth probably, something like that. So that will go home to get clean later. Back in the storage covers. Tell you what, this is my dough storage. Um, I can keep this cool or hot. Uh, check out my dough management video. There's more information on that. So what I'm gonna do is gonna get one dough tray out. Put it over there. And keep the lid on. Show you these. Check these out. Oh, plump little boys. Um, yeah, these are beautiful. Uh, like I said, if you want to know more about this dough and more, uh, check out my previous video on dough management. Okay, started to get a little bit toasty warm in here, so uh, I've lost the hoodie. Put the apron on, so I'm about to handle some food. So, what we've got in here in the cooler, in the Yeti, let's get to the bottom. sausage mince this is a uh, fennel sausage it's already cut up everything like that so I'm gonna glove up so I don't get sausagey hands um, nobody wants sausage fingers so this is quite a coarse part so I'm just gonna cut open that see that beautiful sausage meat so what I'm gonna do is gonna get it out in this in this tray, I'm gonna stick both lots, there's two kilos here, which is gonna be plenty for the day. So I'm gonna mush it up. I would normally split this into two trays worth, but I kind of just want to get it cooked, and it will cook relatively quickly in, uh, in the oven. So that's going to get, there's the mince, that's going to get slided, slid into the dome uh, and it's going to cook, I'm going to cook it to temperature or it reach, probably get it to about 76 degrees, something like that. And I'm going to know it's cooked and then I'll chill it down quick um, and then I'm going to refrigerate it. So yeah, in it goes. To the back, I'll keep an eye on that. Should take about 10 minutes in total, something like that. 
Okay, whilst that's cooking, uh, ovens are heated up. They're like 540 degrees now. They've been holding that. Uh, that one's at, actually at 5, 5.15 to turn it down. This one's at 5.40. It's fully saturated. They've been on for about half hour or so. So I'm just gonna turn it down to a low flame. And that will settle out at about 430, 440 degrees. And it will just stay there until I need it to. So um, it's because I'm running the domes. I run the Neapolitan arch really locks in the heat um, helps it stay hot for a lot longer so if you are running domes as your business and you don't use the neo arch i would say if you serve neapolitan pizza or just if you have any issues with like heat retention stuff like that because obviously dome has quite a wide mouth and if you have a longer extended flu um, you're going to be drawing more of that heat out so to lock it in to get banging bakes 70 second bakes all day long with minimal reset then get yourself the neo arches okay so that sausage is going to just get another turn the heat proof glove just going to get in there you can see it's just started to get a bit of color on it so i'm just going to make sure i'm turning it all the time beauty about cooking something like this in the dome is it's heating actually from you've got the flame above but you've also got the heat coming up through the stone floor um, cooking cooking it from below as well essentially and it's such an intense heat that it really doesn't take long so if I was making this pizza at home um, you could just use the raw sausage uh, just pinch it off in very small amounts and it will cook through in very small little lumps in the oven when you're cooking the pizza it's just obviously because I'm serving food to the public I don't have anything really raw in the in the van and um, I make sure it's it's cooked to a safe temperature chilled and then it gets reheated um, I mean when it comes out of the oven like, the toppings are like 180 200 degrees anyway it's like sizzling away um, but yeah, it's just, it's good to be safe from a food, food standard sort of point. Um, talking about that with a business, I, I use Enca, so I've got a whole safety management system here, uh, a daily diary and everything like that, where I will log all my temp, my temp actually I have wireless uh, fridge thermometers that are absolutely wireless are updating all my fridge temperatures every five minutes to every half an hour into the cloud so i don't need to paper log them um but in here i have like i will today so i have my opening and closing checks which i've i've done my opening checks already i've done my lpg checks my electricity um, i will check the temperature of this once it's cooked and i'll log the temperature and i'll also log how long it takes to come down to like say room so like 18 degrees something like that um, no more than 90 minutes is my maximum cooling temperature when I cook stuff and then it will get refrigerated and re, re, re cooked later on the pizza. So yeah, this is, uh, I use an NCAS, but you can use in the UK, you can use Safer Food Better Business or whatever your environmental health officer, your EHO advises you to use. Speak to them, they're very helpful. Um, but yeah, I've been with NCAS for like seven years. They make it very easy. I have all my, I have everything I need. Um, and I recently had a hygiene check and I got my five stars again for what the i think we've had four checks now over seven years something like that but maybe five i don't know but always five stars okay sausage is cooked so i love what this oven does you get these little gnarly bits uh, i've been turning it i've been twisting it around but you get these little gnarly like browning bits and stuff like that um and i've been using the uh i've actually been using the gosney probe that comes with the oven to uh, just sort of like probe like bigger chunks of it to make sure it's cooked. And that is coming in at that bit 78 degrees. So I'm absolutely fine. Um, so I know that that is cooked through. I'm gonna put that in my washing up for later. So right now that's just gonna sit out here. It's gonna cool down. I'm gonna let it cool. I'm gonna log what temperature it was in my book. And then I'm gonna log how long it takes for it to come down to a decent temperature where I can load it into nice cold gastronorm and then it can go into my toppings fridge so right now we're gonna let that do that and we're gonna cut some chilies chilies and my onions so I'll probably go through two onions today two red onions I use 
pizza, saw my Nduya pizza on the menu, I use slight, slicely, uh, thin, slicely? Uh, thinly sliced red onions. So it's, uh, it starts its life off as a margarita. I hit that with a little uh, dried oregano or oregano for you Americans out there. Um, and then gets a little red onion, fresh red onion on it, uh, the Nduya, and that one gets baked and that is, it's spicy and delicious. It's awesome. And the red onion is just, I love red onion on pizza. So, just gonna run through this. And things like my condiments, I have a little condiment dispenser thing down here as well. So my red onion goes in the middle one. Got these lovely fresh red chilies that are gonna get chunk, chunked up. They'll go in here. I have one for meat, one for veggie pizzas, so I'm not like putting the hands in there all the time. Uh, oregano goes there and my fresh garlic goes there, which generally is just for my marinara pizza. Um, up here, I can show you my toppings actually at the moment. So up here we have, so that one will be basil. This is my pecorino, got my fiorella mozzarella. This will have my anduja. My fiorelli will be at the back. That's where my sausages go. And then I've got my pepperoni here and then sauce is there. And so I take the dough here, assemble the pizza, slide it into the oven here, and we serve it out here. Um, actually, well, I've got the phone. So down here is just some storage that I have. So I've got a few boxes of things. I've got all my spare ingredients there, cleaning stuff in there. And that's like, I've got a kettle and some coffee making and whatnot in there. Actually, I use a pot for my, um, a bit of sausage. I use a pot for my uh, napkins and my menu is all magnetic, which will go on the side of the van just out there when we're ready. So let's continue with the prep. I'm gonna keep that fridge closed for now because we don't need it open. That should be enough onions to keep me going for the day. If I need any more, I can just quickly, quickly chop one up. But I don't put a lot of onion on. I mean, the Andouille's pizza is a good seller, but um, yeah, I'll probably sell quite a few of the specials today. Um, a lot of margaritas and stuff. So just gonna give that oven a wipe. I mean, oven, knife a wipe. Got a banging custom Gosney German cut oven. This thing's sharp as you like. So let's come up with some chilies, get the pots out. Cut the chilies quite small. I'm not going to let you make you watch me cut chilies for ages, so let's fast forward to something else. Menu's up, ovens are hot, everything's full up, and we're ready to go. So let's jump on in. Yo, I'm back. So it's like just coming up to midday. Uh, guitar man has started strumming his thing. Hello, Hello mate. Uh, it's possibly about to get pretty busy. Sometimes, sometimes it does around here. Sometimes it's like 10, quarter past 12, it sort of picks up. So. I'm just going to leave you rolling. Uh, I'm, I hope you, I think you can see what I'm doing from there. Everything's prepped, everything's topped up, ready to go. Already actually sold 19 pizzas this morning before 12 o'clock, which generally means it's going to be a good day. Um, from experience, from doing, you know, this for like, what, almost, what, seven years now? Been making seven pizzas for seven years? Seven years, I think, um, which is insane. And if you didn't know, I used to set up like just over here, there's a Cafe Nero over there. I used to sit up outside there with a bicycle, hence why it's called Peddling Pizza. Uh, a peddler is someone who moves from place to place selling. And I was peddling, so, but I knew I was never gonna keep peddling, so I called it Peddling Pizza because I always knew I was gonna be moving around. Um, so I had a bicycle with a trailer, one rock box. Used that for like a year or so. And then I had a Piaggio Ape, a three-wheeler built, which I used for three, three years. Uh, with two rock boxes and then I upgraded to this, the Chevy, double domed Chevy. Um, again, there's, there's, there's many videos of, of this online. There's one I shot with Gosney, um, all about me and that. That was shot over a year ago. Um, but there's one all about my, my van uh, on my own YouTube. So check out my other videos. Um, but for now, enjoy the tunes. A few moments later. I think 
These guys are regulars, they want to eat together, that's why I stack them on top of the oven, so... Yeah, take the whole shot. Yeah, take whatever you need. Take you there you go. See you soon. Yo, so uh, it's pretty much the end of the day now. What time is it? It is 2.38. I have got, what, six? Six doubles left out of 80, 86. So I've done 80 pizzas um, so far. I've still got half hour to go and I'm doing a bit of a, bit of a pre-clean, get myself ahead, scraping out the trays the most horrific job so we just scrape all the all the little things any little bits of dough any bits of flour scrape them out knock it into the next one take these home and these get a good clean at home because cleaning them in here is an absolute faff um i take everything home with me uh all, all goes through the dishwasher um uh van gets a good spray down good two-stage clean at the end and at the start of each shift uh that's better really it's been a good day um i've enjoyed it so if you bought a pizza from me today or any other day then thank you very much and if you enjoyed this video then thank you for tuning in and uh if there's anything else you want me to cover or see then let me know so yeah have a good day